Hey soap fans, it's Allie just hanging out in the kitchen today with my brand new bars of Billy Soap and I thought maybe I would set up the tripod and just kind of chat with you guys and let you see my process for cleaning up uh, each individual bar of soap. I purchased this soap planer beveler from CDA Soapworks on Etsy and I love this thing. <laughs> this is a lifesaver. It does a really nice job of cleaning up the soaps, giving them kind of a finished touch uh, and just making everything look extra pretty. Uh, so I thought I would introduce you first to my brand new bars of Billy Soap and then I will show you how the planer beveler works. So. Here he is, Mr. Billy Abbott. Doesn't that look good? I based this soap off of the character of Billy Abbott on The Young and the Restless. It's inspired by him both in design and by scent, uh, by fragrance. And this is actually a beer soap. I made this with a pumpkin lager, and I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But first I'm gonna show you how I clean up the bars. Right in the middle here is a precision blade. It's very, very sharp. And you can use this to run the soaps right along the blade and shave off just a little bit if you want to make sure that they have a nice clean smooth edge or if you want to correct any mistakes but this bar looks really good to me i'm mostly going to use it for this angled area right here where i can just run the soap i can rest it on this angle and run the soap right along the edge and what it does is just cleans up the edges right here i mean it's almost non-detectable but honestly it gives the soap kind of a smoother feel these edges of cut soap can be just a little bit sharp and i kind of like it when i'm able to shave those off and get a nice kind of slightly rounded off corner on the bar it's not even a big deal, but it's just a little thing that I like to do. It makes a difference for, for me, I think. So I do this for every single bar on all three sides, uh, on uh, each side on all three of the edges. So this Billy soap I'm really excited about. <laughs> I made this with a pumpkin lager. Um, it was made by the St. Louis Brewing Company. I went and specially picked out a beer that I thought would suit Billy's personality. Do you remember when he would throw those fantastic Halloween parties? We don't get as much of that anymore, but he used to be such a party boy. He kind of still is, frankly. Uh, and he would throw these wonderful Halloween bashes where everyone on The Young and the Restless would dress up. And I just thought it was kind of a cool uh, thing to look forward to every year on the show. And I always seem to associate Halloween at Ingenua City with Billy Abbott. So I thought a pumpkin ale would be really the best choice. Now, making soap with beer has a few extra processes in it because essentially I'm just replacing the water that would normally be in the recipe with beer. And you can do that with any other number of liquids, with milks or, um, Oh uh, gosh, I mean fruit juices. There's any, uh, I mean there's a billion different things you could, you could uh, put into your soap. But the beer is particularly interesting because most of the alcohol, in fact I, all of the alcohol, is evaporated out during the uh, process, during the saponification and the prep process. So in these finished bars, there is no alcohol left over. I, uh, before I made the soap, went ahead and boiled the beer. I freeze the beer. Uh, I boiled the fuzz, I boiled the fuzz out of the beer. <laughs> that probably got most of it. Then I froze the beer and then threw out uh, you know, when the soap reaches its high heat and stuff, uh, all of the alcohol ends up evaporating away. So you're mostly just left with all of the wonderful qualities of the herbs and spices that are brewed into the particular beer that you're working with. So these bars don't have any alcohol in them. What they have is just the leftover 
qualities of the pumpkin that was in the beer, the hops of course, the barley, all of that good stuff which is extra good for your skin and uh, just really creates a very nourishing bar of soap. So it is not something that smells like beer. <laughs> using soap in, or using beer in your soap doesn't necessarily mean that uh, your soap's gonna make you smell like a brewery. <laughs> so uh, what I did to further counteract that was added in a beautiful fragrance blend. I'm really, really pleased with how these turned out because I think it's so unique. The fragrance blend that I used is very complementary to the leftover aromas of the the, the boiled beer. Uh, so what you're kind of left with is sort of, it sort of smells like an ale, I think. Um, it's very unisex, it's fresh, it's crisp. I think it's going to be very nice for the winter season around the holidays, but I really think that this is a, a fragrance and a soap that would appear to that would appeal to guys and girls alike because guys like beer but I mean it also <laughs> creates a nice moisturizing bar for ladies too and the lather of a beer soap is extra foamy or it's not I don't know if the foamy is the right word but beer does definitely give soap a unique kind of lather so all in all I thought this was a really good choice for the character of Billy Abbott. It gives me something a little bit different to try when it comes to soaping. You know, I like to mix things up and keep myself challenged and keep myself interested. And this was certainly a fun project for me to work on. And I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my little story and seeing my little soaps. I like them. I really like them. I think these are gonna be good. These are only about one week uh, cured right now. Uh, so they've got a ways to go before they're gonna be perfect and ready and popped into the shop at GenoaCitySoap.com. Uh, but by the time you're watching this video, they may already be there. <laughs> uh, these look really good, I'm pleased. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my video, my soap, and my little planer beveler here. I hope you stay tuned and subscribe and uh, go to the website at GenoaCitySoap.com and I will see you most definitely next time for more winter soaps and beyond.